I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested. That Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. I almost didn't make it out. I could have ended up a guinea pig in their strange experiments. Don't be ridiculous. We would have realized you'd gone missing soon enough. I would have sent someone to get you. Ugh, that's enough brooding. That's not why I brought you here. I have a new favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice. Delson? We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the council, M.M. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right. How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across. All right. What then? Kai has wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, It'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but... Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. I barely know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. I'm not comfortable with the idea of sending them to be slaughtered. It's... despicable. 
it's just politics. And it's probably your only chance to come back in one piece. What if I refuse? I won't let you. Your conscience is of no concern to me. The only thing that matters is our survival. And too bad if it keeps you up at night. The true face of the Camarilla. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. Their Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. Everyone's got their priorities, I guess. It's not like I've been waiting for hours. Oh, please. You're always asking for more space. You're going to complain about me giving you space now? I'm sorry I hoped for a little bit of support from you. You haven't asked for any since you threw me out of your life. Excuse me? What are you talking about? We never... Broke up? It's been 30 years, Amem. What? I don't remember. I... Come on. I get the feeling we need to clear up a few things. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Tell me what's going on. The warlocks. I knew their library would leave a mark. They fucked with my head. So, if I understand right, you have no memory of our breakup. None whatsoever. I really thought that we... I mean... You know. There's a reason the warlocks have a bad reputation. And you said it's been 30 years? More or less. That seems like forever. And then again, the blink of an eye for us. Believe me, it's been a long 30 years. When I was there, with the Tremere, I saw things, glimpses of the past. It was like I was reliving certain episodes of my past. I guess that's what Osborne meant when he told me about the memories. What exactly did you see? I saw my attack with the knights. I need to know. What happened after that? Did they pay for what they did to me? It's a long story, Mem. And it's not really a happy one. That's all the more reason! I want to know what happened. It's my memory, not some game. Exactly. I don't want to see you suffer again. I won't allow it. But it's not your choice. It's not you we're talking about. It's me. I can't just sit here, not knowing. I won't tell you a thing. Hilda, please. I said no. There's no point in insisting. Fine. Whatever you want. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how upsetting it must have been. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm sorry, I've gotta go. I need to take some time to process all of this. The prince is sending me out on another task. I can't screw up. What kind of task? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. 
Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. You're right. You're my sire. I should believe you. And I do. We good? Would you tell me what you know? Please. Seriously? You don't think you're laying it on a little too thick? Not at all. You can be such a pain sometimes. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. You're right. You should go get some rest, and do think over what we've discussed. Promise me you'll be careful. I'll try. I've been at this for hours. Around. Keep what's important. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Miss Bosley. You're a good kid, Lazarus. I need a drink. Now, shake a leg. What the heck? All right, you heard her. Double time. I'm completely overwhelmed. Are they coming already? I need more pairs of hands. I'm completely overwhelmed. There you are. I heard about your little trip to see the warlocks. Sounds like you're starting to get the hang of the machinations of the court. Unfortunately, you'll need more than diplomacy to survive the SI. So you know about it? The whole court does. Backstage, people are checking their scripts. There are some who are already thinking of running away. I'm not even surprised. All courts have their parasites. Boston's full of cowards like them. That's how you recognize a powerful throne. Malls are attracted to the flame. I can't blame them. I've seen the Second Inquisition's hunters up close in London. Too close for comfort, actually. They're right to be afraid. You'll need to be careful, darling, and surround yourself with associates you can trust. <laughs> That's a rare commodity around here. You've got your sire. Hilda was furious after you left for the library. She really seemed worried about you. As always. But I survived. You did. Actually, when you were there, 
Did you run into my emissary? I still haven't heard anything. I found your associate. Or what was left of him. The warlocks did him in long before the code read. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why? He probably disappointed them. It doesn't take much to piss them off. Osborne will pay for what he did. Your emissary had stolen something. Some sort of alchemical formula. It appears they were trying to preserve the properties of the blood. The report will be of more use to you than it is to me. Oh, Crawford. Thank you. We've been turning in circles for years. We're way behind. This paper will accelerate our research. I've told you everything I know. And it's precious. Ugh, the question now is whether this paper is worth the unlife that the warlocks stole. What if it's not? Then Osborne will get no rest. But it's not your problem anymore. You've done enough already. This work on the properties of blood, even if it's minor, is extremely valuable. Our cities are teeming with kindred and our enemies are legion. If we don't learn how to control our blood supply, our species will inevitably decline. That explains why these agreements were so important to Hazel. She wants to hold the key to our survival. Think of the power she would have if she could do it. But she's not the only one in the race anymore, thanks to you. Thanks, M.M. If I can do anything to repay you, let me know. This is gonna sound weird, but... Have you ever heard of memory magic? No, never heard of it. Where do you hear about that? My visit to the Warlocks. I don't know what they did. But they got inside my head. The Tremere are brilliant, but dangerous. Iverson should never have sent you there alone. I learned my lesson. I always wondered how a city like London could fall. A kindred stronghold? That old? Wiped out in just a few nights. What was it like? Do you remember the attack? <sighs> It's not a very pleasant memory. I get it. Sorry. Did I miss anything last night? Not really. Things were pretty calm until Dr. Dunham came back. Things got a little tense when the topic of the Second Inquisition came up. I can imagine the shockwave. We're at the court. People try to save face. But I saw a few masks start to dissolve. The next few hours are going to be decisive. Hazel wants to send me back out there tonight. She's trying to get help from the Anarchs. Well, aren't we the elite soldier to send behind enemy lines? I'd appreciate any advice you could give me. I've spent a lot of time with the Anarchs, but never in a situation like this. I imagine that'll depend on what your prince wants to negotiate. If you hang around with them, then you know they're proud. Stubborn. So you think there's no hope? Everyone has their weakness. You just need to find the right button to push. I know they're always fighting over scraps of power. Could I use that to my advantage? Hmm, that's an interesting flaw. That's the exact reason the Anarch movement has always had a hard time solidifying. It's risky, but it could work to your advantage. You should expect some resistance from them. Some will likely try to put you on your heels or even lie to you outright. Don't let yourself be fooled by them. I'll try not to forget it. Thanks, Victoria. It's my pleasure. You've been around Miss Iverson for a few nights now. 
I've had that honor, it's true. She's not the first prince you've associated with. You're used to dealing with people in powerful positions. So, what do you think of her? She's a gem. I admire how she rules the city with a firm hand. And yet, at the same time, she doesn't resist change. She's not the idol type, that's for sure. I like her bullish frame of mind. Boston is poised for growth with her in charge. Well, now, that's a lot of praise. I didn't expect you to paint such a glowing picture of her. Ha! Huh, look around, darling. You know what they say about walls. Yeah. I've gotta go. It's gonna be a long night. No matter what happens tonight. I'm happy I got to see you again. Why does that sound like goodbye? A mem? It's gonna be fine. See you later. <sighs> be careful. I'm sorry, you can't go in there. Dijon left. Rats are the first to flee the sinking ship. I'm sorry, ma'am, but if you're looking for Mr. Underwood, I think he just left. Sylvia, darling. All right. What a night. Want a bite? Can I get you a vessel, Miss Bosley? No, thanks. Your juice bags are nice, but they lack character. I beg your pardon? I prefer to hunt less obliging prey. The flavor is divine. I'm sure Hilder would agree. The hunt stimulates the senses. There's nothing exciting about seducing a slave. You see? Where passion I could use I an app. Well, if sorry, you change your mind, my best. I need to take a break. Thanks, dear. Come back later.
think he was into this kind of thing. I'm sorry, ma'am, but if you're looking for Mr. Underwood, I think he just left. Can I help you? I'll see you later. I hope so. That's good. That too. All I'm hearing tonight is Lazarus do this, Lazarus do that. What's that? I can't wait to be done with this. Hey, Mem. Sorry, we're a little busy here. What do we do if the hunters show up? Mem, there you are. I've been looking for you for hours. Where have you been? Um, do I know you? Ha, huh, yeah, you're a real comedian. Seriously, where have you been? I'm sorry, but I don't think we've ever met. What the hell? What's the matter with you? Shit. My little visit to the Warlocks. I think it left a mark. I'm sorry, I'm really confused. I... Are you fucking kidding me? Amem, we've always been there for each other. You're my twin flame. I don't remember. What a fucking nightmare. What's going on? We're... We were... Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, I... I have to think. Better hurry.
go. Hazel gave me orders. Not just yet. like he lives for this. Zhu Fang? I didn't know that Galeb's protege was such a big deal. Sorry, Miss Lewis. The Prince is holding an audience. The Anarchs. Uh, I hope the Prince knows what she's doing. <laughs> 